Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day. Today's deck is Prismatic Bridge. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to It Resolves. Like I said, we do play a new deck every day here. With that, I will say we have a lot of misplays here on the channel. I saw a lot of people commenting on the Bant Planeswalkers list. Yes, I did misplay, but you know what? It is what it is. It's not going to be perfect. Uh, and that's okay. I think we're here to have some fun, and that's most most important to me, at least. So if you're watching and you do see misplays, just be aware that I I'm aware of that. It's fine. You can comment below. That's cool. Uh, anyway, let's talk about today's deck. This is actually built by Sonio, uh, which if you don't know who Sonio is, please go check him out. I will link him down below. Thank you so much for sharing this deck over on Aether Hub. This is the Prismatic Bridge deck. So for anybody that doesn't know what Prismatic Bridge is, the idea is you can get uh, all colors of mana, Wooberg out, uh, to play the Prismatic Bridge and every turn you essentially reveal the top card of your deck until you reveal a creature or a planeswalker card then you put that card onto the battlefield for free and then the rest of the cards go back onto the bottom so the idea is pretty simple it's basically just get a bunch of free stuff uh now to help us get there we do have some control elements we've got the portable holes we've got the infernal grasp we've got power word kill we've got meat hook massacre uh we've got binding of the old gods hagra mauling all of which are really going to help us uh kind of control the board presence so that way we can get to those five colors of mana because it does take a little bit of time now uh in terms of ramp and you know mana fixing things like that we do have courier's briefcase this is a nice little card one that i really didn't even recognize at first uh but you get to throw this out there you get a little one one guy and you can sacrifice it to add a mana of any color uh, you can also, later on in the game, use those Wooburn colors and just sacrifice this to draw three cards, which is really nice. Um, now, we do have the Celestis to help fix us. We've got the Deadly Dispute. Uh, this is going to allow us, of course, to create some treasure tokens, but also draw further into the deck, which is great. Works amazingly well with the Briefcase, because you can sacrifice that 1-1 one -one if you need to, and just get further into the deck. Uh, now, again, later on, we have got some really powerful threats. So we do have the Wandering Emperor sitting at the four drop slot. Not a huge powerful threat. This is much more of a control element or just something to, to provide a board presence in the mid game. Uh, we do have Lolth. We have Lisa. Uh, we really get into some cool stuff with Cemetery Desecrator. Uh, we've got the Caretaker here. We've got Vorinclex, Jenga Taxis, Toxroll, and Titan all of which are goals to hit off of the prismatic bridge now worst case scenario something goes away we have dollhouse of horrors which allows us to bring these back uh which can be really really good uh and so <coughs> excuse me uh, I'm really excited to see how this goes. Uh, I did only do one test game. I did lose that test game, but today we're not about here. We're, we're not about winning today. I want the goal of today's uh, uh, video to just see if we can get the prismatic bridge down and hit something cool. That's the goal today. Uh, we'll see if it works. I think it's going to be an absolute blast, though. Let's go ahead, guys. Let's jump in and let's see how it goes. Again, I just want to say, Sonia, thank you so much, my friend. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Now, this is an interesting hand. We do actually have the Prismatic Bridge, which is kind of nice, but uh, we're a little lackluster on the rest of it. You know what? I'm going to try it. We can use a Sika here to help ramp us, so that's actually not unreasonable. Um, and I think we'll lead off of the Proving Ground. What this does is open up the black mana earlier on than if we were to lead with the headquarters. So Deadly Dispute does become a live uh, hit at some point. Obviously not right now. Uh, we need something else on the field before it becomes relevant. But uh, looks like we're against a Grixis list, potentially Grixis control uh, or some kind of reanimator list. I'm gonna just try this. I, again, don't think it's gonna work at all, but uh, it does actually kind of help ramp us, of course, into something like Lisa. If we need to, that would be great. Um, and we'll see. I mean, it may not work, like I said, but it's okay. All right. They are Prismari Command-ing. Um, they've got one card exiled. Okay, so this is 100% going to be a, um, a reanimator-style deck. Uh, very very rude of of, uh, of a deck here, but we'll see what we can do. I um, actually do think we go for the briefcase here. So the reason being is this kind of sets up a world where we can just deadly dispute uh, the, the token if we need to. 
uh, which will probably end up being the play. They should be able to go ahead and reanimate this here. Uh, yep. Okay. <clears throat> uh, obviously don't love this, but we do have the Hagger Mauling as a way to get around this a little bit later on. Uh, we wait and see what they draw. Oh, they missed. They completely whiffed. <laughs> well, that's amazing. Um, all right, let's go ahead and Deadly Dispute here. There's really no reason not to. Uh, digs us a little further into the deck. We've got a Tox Rule there. That's not bad. Okay. Um, I mean, I think the play is relatively clear. Let's just make sure. So we can just play Tox Rule, uh, but I think we just go ahead and Hacker Mauling this. If they have another reanimation spell, obviously this isn't like amazing, um, but we do have the Hive of the Eye Tyrant, which can kind of punish them later on if they don't have it. So uh, what we're able to do is um, use that Hive of the Eye Tyrant, get this out of there, uh, out of their graveyard, and then they just don't have a good target. Um, hopefully this is just a setup turn and not another reanimation turn. Yep, and it looks to be the case. Fantastic. Um, excellent. Well, I mean, this should be pretty reasonable. Uh, we do have the Lisa as well, so if we get Lisa down, if this dies, we actually get to bring it back later on, uh, which is quite nice. They do have Coma in the graveyard, which is not good. Um, obviously. <laughs> uh, however, again, we kind of have ways to answer it. Um, so the question is, what do we do here? I am going to be the safe player uh, just, just because I've fallen for this way too many times. We're going to get Koma out of the, the graveyard here. Uh, I'm not really interested in losing just to a, a really powerful spell like that. Um, we're also not over committing to the board, so what we're kind of be able to do here is start uh, slowing some things down if we need to. That's fine. I mean, obviously it's not great, but it's not the end of the world. Okay. Uh, very, very good, of course. Um, hopefully we can find a way to remove it. Okay, they got another coma in the graveyard. That's not good. Yep. All right. Well, obviously don't love that, um, but we'll see what we can do. Um, I'm assuming they have some kind of play here. Okay. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we would lose that. Yeah, I think I'm okay to cycle this away, though. Um, let's just go ahead and do that. Let's see what we draw. Another portable hole. Not great. Um... <laughs> Awkward. This doesn't tap. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, hmm. I think I just go for the Tox Roll play. I'm not positive on this, I'll be honest, um, but this does at least diminish the amount of damage we're going to be taking from uh, the lore hold here. Um, this is going to get really scary really quickly, though, if we can't find an answer. So at the very least, this diminishes the amount of damage they're doing. And then we can get Lisa down next turn, which will be able to block this relatively efficiently, we'll say. Um, I fully expect they'll have another reanimation spell, which is going to hit that coma, uh, which is going to be terrible. <laughs> Uh, I will say, Reanimator seems just super... Oh, they have Burning Rune Demon in the graveyard. Well, that might change now. Uh, they may just go for that. Um, there are so many great reanimation targets right now. It's amazing. Um, and there's good ways to do it, too. It's not like it's just a... You know, it's not a hard thing to make happen anymore. Um, they've got so many options here. The Grixis list, I think, is the best reanimation list. It just kind of has everything you want, you know what I mean? Okay, excellent. Uh, also not bad. Um, hmm. I mean, they definitely have another reanimation spell, right? Um, but I think we do this. Let's go ahead and hit this, get that out of there. 
Uh, and we'll attack in. I don't really see a big reason not to attack in here just because, um, you know, they're going to reanimate whatever they want to reanimate. They can get the lore hold back. And truthfully, that might have been a bad play just because it has haste. And so they can just get a free basic attack in. If they get a Prismari command, they kill us. Nope, it's another return. Oh, no. All right. Well, that's super good. Uh, yeah. Um, interesting. I'm very... This has turned into a really good game. Here's the trick. We have Lisa, which does block this after the 1-1 token gets, uh... Or, yeah, that gets thrown on there. So, like, we're not out of this, but we're not doing great either. You know what I mean? Um... Let's see. So we can do this and still... We have to have the two white. That's the trick. So we can't portable hole plus Lisa. We can do this in portable hole, which is like, okay. Um... Mm -hmm. I think we just have to do this, though, because otherwise we're just dead. <laughs> I don't think we have a better option here. Um, we're pretty dead either way, honestly, so this is not a great place to be, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, so they just tap that down, no attacks. Kind of surprised they did it there. I feel like they should have waited, but that's fine. Um, I guess they just get to win now e either way. Yeah, so now they get to tap Lisa down, um, and then, yeah, they just get in for three and they win. All right, fair enough. Good game on, on their end. That was, uh, we should have, I guess, forced the issue with the coma, but I didn't think that would work, to be honest. Um, I'm going to go ahead and concede. Interesting game. Interesting game for sure. Might have been a misplay, but that's okay. Let's jump into a game two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. What an interesting hand. <laughs> uh, I think we have to mulligan this. As much as I love all these big plays, I don't think this is the, the time to get, get all of those. Uh, this I'm much more apt to keeping because we've got the Asika. Uh, we can probably throw Toxroll back, honestly, as much as I don't want to. Um, and then we'll, we'll see what happens from there. Um, really interesting. All right, let's do this. Let's throw a tox roll back and let's see what we can do. I'm gonna go ahead and lead on the uh, proving ground. Uh, would love to actually draw a basic green source. That would be kind of sick. Okay, uh, that kind of works. Let's do this. Uh, this certainly opens up the deadly dispute play, which really helps us get to uh, the prismatic bridge actually. So this might be possible. Um, we'll see, of course, but. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and attack in. And we'll just see what they do. We can actually just leave up the Deadly Dispute here. We don't have to pull that trigger quite yet. Um, I think we will, of course, here, but... Go ahead and do that. Excellent. So now we can just Prismatic Bridge. <laughs> uh, did they miss a land drop as well? They did. Uh, interesting. Well, I like that. Uh, Dollhouse is quite good as well. Let's go ahead and Prismatic Bridge. Let's do the cool play, though. Here we go. We did it. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we hit, though, because it could very well just be a... Uh, I mean, we've got some good stuff. We've also got some not quite as good stuff, but we, we should be good here. Oh, man. Well, dang. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, let's move on to game three. What's up, guys? Before we jump into the next game, I just want to remind you, if you would like to pick up this month's Patreon rewards, feel free to do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. How do we feel about this hand? Um, hmm. 
It's really interesting because we do have Meat Hook Massacre, and of course, if we get the uh, the little artifact here that spits out the one one, I can never remember the name. Uh, we can deadly dispute that token. Um, I might try this. It's a little bit sketchy for sure, um, but we'll we'll do the best we can. Hello, friend. Uh, looks like spirits might be the play. Don't love seeing this because this is going to be a pretty aggro-y kind of deck, I imagine. Suspicious stowaway. Good news, bad news, though. Meat Hook Massacre pretty much annihilates most of this stuff, so that's helpful. <laughs> um, like, we can just kind of hit it for one and get a lot of stuff off the field here. The Disturb on this is not ideal, but it's not the end of the world either. So they get to draw a card. Curious to see if they play something. It looks like they're not going to. Uh, the question is, do we just run for this? Chances are we're running into a counter spell. I know that, but I feel like we kind of have to do this before... Yeah, they're just gonna Jabari Disruption it. I feel like we had to do that because of the card draw off of the uh, Seafaring Werewolf here. It's just one of those things that the better... The sooner we shut that down, obviously, the better. They're going to Hall of the Storm Giants. Okay. Um... I mean, again, I don't think we have a better option, but I'm sure they have a counter spell. This is just going to be a really annoying deck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, here we go. At this rate, we might get a fourth game just because these are going relatively quickly. Uh, yeah, this is just a, a really challenging deck for us to deal with. Our interaction is limited because we've got so many big powerhouse plays, which is perfectly fine, but it makes it very tricky to handle a lot of these things. Uh, I would love a meat hook, like, now. Um, that is not a meat hook. Uh, and in fact, it's not even a playable, like, it doesn't even allow us to play, like, a dollhouse or anything exciting. So, here we are. Um, yep. That's very, very good. Three, four, five, six, seven. So we're pretty close to dead. Uh, yep. That's very good. Uh, okay. Three mana available. Land is semi helpful. Watch this get countered. And we're pretty much gonna just die. I mean, we're pretty dead anyway, truthfully. They they just get to uh, attack in here for quite a bit. Ah, yeah. They just owned us that game. There was literally nothing we could do. <laughs> we could have played maybe a bit cleaner, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, let's jump into a fourth. We got plenty of time. All right, guys, here we are for the fourth game. Definitely gonna be our last, I think, and this is definitely a keep. One thing I wanted to mention, guys, uh, really quickly, you'll probably have noticed in the last two gameplay videos, we've had some brand new. Um, do we just portable hold this? I think we actually do. Uh, we've gotten some brand new, uh, for, for the month of June, some awesome new digital altars that are available through our Patreon. Uh, I don't want anybody to feel like they have to, of course, but if you would like to support us on Patreon, it's a great way to support the channel and hopefully uh, get something cool in return. Um, every every month, uh, patron members get to vote on brand new altars that we have created, and I say we, that I have created, <laughs> um, which is really, really fun. It's a great process and all that stuff, but um, on top of that, we actually print those, the ones that are voted on, uh, of which there are three that get voted on and one mystery one that I get to choose. Um, those all get printed and we actually send you physical copies of those cards every month at the end of every month. So just something to keep in mind. I'm not saying you have to by any means, of course, please don't feel that way. But uh, it is kind of a fun way to um, give back to you guys for supporting our content. One thing that I really find important um, and I think easily overlooked is the simple fact that you know, it's great to support people on Patreon. It's really great to, to have that ability. And, you know, if you just support us for the content, great. That's amazing. I personally really don't love the idea of, like, not giving something physical back, if that makes sense. Like, I can say, yeah, we'll do more videos and all that stuff, and that's all well and good. But I'd rather be able to say, like, yeah, here's an actual thing that you get every month, uh, which I think is way cooler. Um, and it's fun. It's really fun to make those, too. Uh, 
so we block and then we do this it just saves us a little bit of damage it's not amazing by any means but it's something go out of full control I suppose now cool <clears throat> Surprisingly, we blue. Yeah, we can't do that. Uh, okay. What else do we have? Not a lot. Um, I think the play is just Celestis. It does open up the double black as well with the treasure token here, so that way we can meet Hook Massacre. So I think that's relatively important. And we'll just pass. Uh, kind of an underwhelming start here, just because we're a little little short on the mana that we need we did kind of pop the the little briefcase thing whatever it is yeah briefcase a little early but I think it was worth it all right they gave us back our bridge I mean we already had a bridge so that's cool but I'm good with that all right hmm yep okay don't love that. Let that resolve. Uh, sure. I mean, this is definitely scary. Um, you got it. I think I decline. I think I'll take it. This is not ideal uh, at all, but that's okay. Uh, next turn, we do just get to drop a bridge, and hopefully it sticks. Uh, if it does, that's great. Um, let's play the Proving Ground. I, hmm, part of me just wants to meat hook for, nah, we're, we're getting the bridge down, guys. Come on. We got to go for the cool points here. Come on. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going Prismatic Bridge. So, if they can't deal with the bridge, phenomenal. We have a, I, they could, I'm trying to think what they could have. They couldn't even have Invoke Despair at this point. Uh, I'll discard that. We don't need another bridge, I don't think. Uh, I'm gonna decline that though. I guess we could have ditched the dollhouse, but uh, I kind of like this as a backup play. We do kind of need a target, of course, but uh, we'll see what we can get there. All right, Tox roll is beautiful. Uh, that was about the perfect thing we could have drawn. Uh, I will take it. Um. So I think we do this. Uh, I think we throw this down. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Cool. Um, and I guess it doesn't matter too much which one we go for, so I'm just gonna attack this one. All right, sick. That gets rid of both of their things. They do actually get to kill uh, the the Asika if they'd like here though which is a little annoying but like it's fine uh do kind of wish we had meat hook down so maybe that was a misplay but the the thought process here is that we uh yeah let's actually do this I'm gonna go ahead and kill a reactor uh, let's make sure they don't just get to nuke us out of nowhere. Um, my thought process is, like, if we get the dollhouse down and they um, find ways to deal with our creatures, it's kind of okay, because we can then, of course, just bring them back with the dollhouse. Uh, but we do need this active, so I'd like to invest the mana now and then be able to kind of deal with stuff later. Okay. Uh, so they do still know about the meat hook massacre in hand. Um... No, I think I decline. And I think I decline again. We actually get to gain this life back for the most part, so I'm not that worried about it. Let's see what we get. Oh, very good. Okay, sick. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's awesome. Um, Alright, so... I think we want to just go this route. They're probably just gonna block and like kill a slug or just let this one go down. 
Um, either way is kind of fine. I don't really care. Sure. Awesome. Uh, probably could have played that a little cleaner and gotten like lulls down just to add some tokens to the board here, but I think this will work out okay. Um, yeah, and I think I just do this. I'm kind of cool with that. Uh, now we've got kind of double protection up as well, just because we obviously have quite a bit we can do. Um, I am going to just play this out for zero here. Oh, wait, no, sorry. We can't. My mistake. We are not going to play that out for zero. I forgot we didn't have double black. All right, so this is scary, of course, but we actually just get to deal with that next turn, so that's cool. I am going to just ditch this so we don't lose the life because um, I do think that's quite important right now. Lisa is going to help us hopefully gain some life back, which is good. Uh, this is actually not the end of the world for us. Um, let's do this. Sack the slug. That puts a loyalty counter on here, but it also draws us a card. Um, so they are gaining some life out of this, but we're just getting a really good Loth out of this as well, and Toxtral just comes back to the hand now. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> uh, yeah, excellent. Um, hmm. We do really need to deal with the uh, this, though. That's kind of the problem. Do these have haste? Yeah, okay, excellent. Let's bring you back. It's only a 1-1, one, one, but the the important thing here is that it gets this away from the ultimate, uh, which is really crucial. Um, let's throw some counters here. All right, let's gain a little bit of life out of this and keep moving forward. We do have to deal with Obnixilis. I don't really think we have a better option. Um, I'll happily discard a land. That doesn't matter to me. We're pretty well set on the, the land side of things, I think, so that's fine. Cool. Uh, yeah, they're very quickly running out of options here, so this is great. Um, and we're just going to continuously hit stuff. Oh, even better. Wow, that's really good. Okay, excellent. Um, let's throw them here. Again, just trying to get as much on the life linker as possible so we can gain as much life as possible. This also just sets up turns where we kind of just get to own them uh, in the air. So um, I think we just let this flip also. I don't think we really have to worry about too much else. Uh, actually, no, we don't attack there. Yeah, so they can activate a couple of different things here that we have to consider, so. That's fine. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and draw an extra card. There's no reason not to here. Um, and we'll just pass. Cool. So now this switches, uh, which is where this gets even better. Um, yeah, we'll throw that back. We actually can draw three cards off of the briefcase, like at any time. And there we go. That was amazing. That was what we were hoping for, guys. I'm so glad it happened in that last game. Oh, what an amazing time. All right, guys, let's wrap this one up. Okay, so Prismatic Bridge. First of all, Sonio, thank you so much, my friend, for sharing this list over on Aetherhub. An absolute blast of a deck. This was a, a really, really fun one. And again, the goal of today was to just have fun. And we absolutely managed that goal. We won about, I think, half the games. I think it was a 50-50 split, so two and two. Uh, and I'm perfectly fine with that. With the Prismatic Bridge deck, you have to keep in mind, you're trying to do something that's a little bit janky, a little bit silly, and really just there to have fun. And so I think it's really important to note that you're not, more so than with even other decks, you're definitely going to have some struggled games or some difficult games. Uh, and we certainly did, but we had a blast with it and still managed some wins. So I'm perfectly happy with it. Absolute blast. Uh, again, thank you, Sonio. And thank you to all of you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're not already. That would be hugely beneficial. Uh, and we're really happy to have you guys here. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.